share. So basically, today is about how to use Andrasal to help differentiate between pneumonia and heart failure patient. As you would know, you know, start from the beginning. Uh, you could see here first. Here, if you want to see a pneumothorax, you would start in anterior. But if you want to um, see if there is any you know, water, excess water from heart failure, ARDS, pneumonia, you should go to more lateral or the plebs point, which is here, you know, the continuing between thorax and abdomen. So basically, if you want to see uh, any kind of extra water, you use uh, cardiac probe, abdomen, or vascular probe is fine. Uh, normally, I would start with cardiac or abdomen probe because it could see, you know, all of overall of uh, any beeline or consolidation. So first, uh, in normal patient, in the left side here, you would see a line, which is uh, a line is here, you know, look like Wi-Fi here. So the airline is actually the mirror of pleural light, which indicated the patient has a lot of air. Uh, in this kind of patient, it would mean that the patient may be deep near form COPD, asthma, or a normal patient as well. Uh, in contrast, if the patient has B line, it would look like this. So B line would be uh, white rockets, you know, vertical, which move and erase all um, A line. Uh, this is our real patient, which he came in with dyspnea, and you know, on the right side you could see here he has consolidation. So, if you don't have that much time to to do X-ray first, and you would like to see if it's heart failure or pneumonia, you can easily do by uh, not only uh, access if there is B line, but also if there is any consolidation. So the pattern is here. So A line is uh, you know, extra air, air more than water. If there is B line, there is more water than air. If there is C line, then it means that uh, probably there is consolidation. So let's look at how C line would help us differentiate between uh, pneumonia and heart failure. So in this patient, this is the real case. So here you can see, you know, there's no A line anymore. You know, it looks white. And then you can see, maybe B line, you're not sure, but this is uh, some kind of black area. So a regular plural line, you do not see A line, which assume this is a lot of B line. So I change this into um, vascular probe. As you can see here, this is the same patient. You can see here the pro is thickening, which is normally more than two millimeters. You can see B line, a lot of B line, but it's not regular. So this you know, will help you guide that, okay, maybe this is um, not normal or typical heart failure or excess, excess water. The pathology would involve plural. And when you scan more in this patient, voila, see? So this is actually where you can see there is um, uh, consolidation. And uh, I put the reference from uh, Dr. Lichtenstein, the father of under, uh, lung underside. He said this is called shred side, aerated lung tissue adjacent to consolidated area. So basically, it reflects that you know around that it's not lung anymore, it's not air anymore. There is a lot of water around there. You know. So basically, if you see B line, you know, try try to look more if there is irregular pura line or if there is any consolidation. If you look for it and then you see this, probably uh, if it's not an old lesion, this patient would come in and dyspnea and if she, he or she has history of fever or septic shock, you would go into more that now, okay, the patient maybe have dyspnea from um, pneumonia or any kind of infection. COVID-19 also, you know, have this kind of feature as well. You know. So again, I would summary, this is a short clip. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. So differentiate between A and B line first. If there's B line, see if it's one side or two side. If it's two side, then uh, differentiate between heart failure, which is the smooth pleural line. If there's two sides, and then irregular pleural line or thickening pleural line would be ARDS. If there's one side, uh, irregular pleural line or any stretch side consolidation, it probably pneumonia. So. Hopefully you guys like it, and if you like it, subscribe and let us know if you want me to do something new. And thank you again, all your patient, for making this uh, 
uh, make this clip uh, available. Thank you very much.